Let's discuss what's happening with the super microcomputer stock today. For the past two months, I've been warning you. I've recorded numerous videos with warnings. In these videos, I explained why this stock might fall, what could happen to it. And that's exactly what happened, my friends. You can watch these videos on the channel. I haven't changed the covers. I clearly said there that sooner or later this stock would fall. And I'll tell you exactly what I looked at, what helped me determine the fall of this stock. And I'll tell you right away that what helped me determine this was the options market. Options, it's trading volume, trading with options, as well as understanding the market, understanding how market makers work. That's why I was able to predict the price movement so accurately. Well, let's start from the very beginning. Let's see what happened. Shares of super microcomputer plunged 23.1% the steepest loss among SP500 stock. The server and data storage provider failed to make an announcement ahead of its fiscal third quarter results. Wells Fargo analysts pointed out that Supermicro has a track record of indicating positive results ahead of time, so the lack of a pre-announcement lowers the likelihood of blowout earnings driven by artificial intelligence AI opportunities. Let's look at the news. First of all, I want to say that this drop did not happen because of the news. Yes, the trigger was the news with the launch announcement, but in reality, it's all about trading, trading with options, and understanding how market makers operate. But let's still see what happened. Certainly, besides the super microcomputer stock itself, the drop in NVIDIA stock and all other semiconductor stocks was caused by events. We see that over the past day, semiconductor companies have fallen very sharply. But again, in my opinion, this is just a trigger. What really happened? Volatility holds the answer to that question. Let's start from the beginning. Volatility on this stock decreased. Though it might seem strange because the stock is plummeting, yet volatility is also dropping. However, over time, volatility has increased due to the stock's significant rise. And as the stock returns to its normal values, volatility decreases as well. This is quite rare, but I'm showing you that it's possible. Let's look at the volatility smile. It will help us form a well-informed position so that we profit from any price movement. As we can see, volatility is high on all strikes, dates, and expirations. Also, in the direction of increase towards call options, volatility remains flat, but in the direction of decrease towards put options, volatility rises. Actually, this is a completely normal situation because investors and traders hedge their positions through buying or put options. But at the moment, it's not the best strategy because put options are currently very expensive due to implied volatility. Let's look at historical and implied volatility. The gray lines represent historical volatility. The white line represents implied volatility. And as we can see, at the moment, implied volatility is much lower than its historical values. Actually, typically, the stock and volatility always return to their historical values. But at the moment, I assume that historical volatility will decrease towards implied volatility, meaning at the moment, historical volatility will gradually decrease as it catches up to implied volatility because the company has entered the SP500 index and undoubtedly its volatility will decrease over time. Also, I'd like to show you an interesting scanner that allows you to earn. So this is an artificial intelligence that helps us build a strategy. For example, we can input here that the stock will drop by 20% and immediately it calculates that it will be $570. And the artificial intelligence will suggest interesting option strategies to us. Some strategies might have a probability of 60%, while others as high as 93%. Here, we are simply offered to sell call. We could, but let's see what the strategy would be, because selling call is quite straightforward. An interesting strategy where we can earn as much as $354,000, it allows us to propose buying four put options with a strike of $460. Also, buying one put option with a strike of $500 and buying two put options with a strike of $740. But in reality, the strategy is quite primitive. It simply involves buying put options. This is what the graph will look like, meaning the lower the stock falls, the more we earn. The strategy is actually quite primitive. I always personally rely on my understanding of the market. I love to create strategies myself. Of course, it's good to have such helpers, but I wouldn't recommend blindly trading with the help of artificial intelligence. Use your own intellect exclusively. Let's now return to what caused this stock to fall. This is the most important indicator at the moment. This trader, it's the volume of options trading. Currently, a lot of options have expired. There were actually many more here. When the market opens, of course, many more options will be added. But for now, the situation is such that we have a very large volume concentrated at the $1,000 level. Also, in the range from $750 to $900, these are call options. We have a large volume concentrated from $700 to $800 with put options. What could this mean? My friends, let me explain to you how the market works, how options work. This is exactly what helped me predict this situation. As we can see, I talked about this in all these videos, and now I will tell you again, watch. When investors buy call options on the other side, and there is a seller of call options, usually a market maker steps in, but they don't earn from selling call options, but from commissions, as well as from spreads between prices. And to avoid losing money, they need to hedge this call option. They mainly use different strategies for this. But the best, the most popular, is delta neutral hedging. That is, the market maker buys as many shares as the delta equals. The higher the delta, the more shares they need to buy. And here, 
In fact, it's just a straightforward driving up of the stock. This started in January, and as we can see, the stock rallied very strongly. This was partly due to the purchase of options and hedging by market makers. During this time, the stock grew by 300%. How did this happen? The market makers sell call options. They hedge this position with shares. When the stock rises, the delta of the call option also rises. Consequently, the market maker needs to buy shares. By buying shares, they push the stock up. And this continues like a snowball effect. There's no pure theory here. This situation could develop infinitely until significant volume sales occur. The first significant volume sale was on February 16th, but after that, the stock price increased. We can see that during this time, there were huge sales and the price stabilized. And as soon as the price stabilizes, the situation starts working against the investor because all the options that were not realized by the market maker must be sold off, which he bought in bulk. And what happened? The price stabilized, and at the moment, it has dropped. Also, I have already mentioned that I don't like it when such companies are included in the SP500 index because, objectively, the company is not worth its money. If we look at it, the value of this company was at a maximum of $50 billion, and it earns less than a billion. Well, that's really unacceptable. And the most interesting thing is that index funds were obliged to buy this stock at any price. And at this moment, large holders, big players were selling off. Do you think at that moment when index funds were buying this stock, the stock somehow didn't rise. Why didn't it rise? Because at that moment, there were huge sales, even considering the huge purchases by funds that were obliged to buy stocks. Well, for me personally, everything became clear at once, and that's why I assumed the stock would fall. And that's what happened. Overall, I don't like this situation because a lot of unclear, very expensive stocks are added to the index, and then these very stocks start falling and dragging down the index. The same thing happened with Tesla. They added Tesla to the index when it was very overbought, when it was worth unreasonable amounts of money, and now, naturally, Tesla is also also correcting, and its bottom keeps getting lower and lower. Tesla is a must. I'll also tell you about it in another video, but for now, let's focus on this stock. I've always told you listen to this excerpt from my video, but again, in my personal view, buying stocks at the moment is not the best idea because in terms of risk and return, it's not on the side of the investor. I've always told you that the risk to reward ratio is not on the investor's side, my friends. Some rely on technical analysis, but I use rigorous mathematics and probability theory. Objectively, mathematical calculations and formulas indicated that the risk to reward ratio was not in the investor's favor. I told you not to buy it here in every one of my videos and now it has happened. Of course, at the moment, the stock can continue to fall and may drop to as low as $300. I've explained this in every one of my videos as well. Let's look at what the market is forecasting. This is the derivatives market. And Right now, it predicts that the price is more likely to drop to $650. As we can see, the $650 level has the highest probability. That is, the price will range from $600 to $800 in the coming months. So the market says the stock will continue to fall. My friends, I understand that many people want the stock to rebound, I don't argue. But the market says the stock will fall. My friends, why argue with the markets? I don't understand this. If the market clearly indicates that the stock will fall, why argue? If you want to make money, you need to follow the market, go along with it. That's my position. I always stick to it, and that's why I can predict price movements and make money. My main task is to manage positions and portfolios effectively. The only thing I can do is manage portfolios. Let me show you a strategy. I've built a strategy using options, and as we can see, if the price, for example, rises to $1,000, we will make $28,000. If the price drops to $500, we will make $13,000. The strategy looks like this, but again, I do not recommend opening it under any circumstances because uncovered options are sold here. If something goes wrong, you could lose all your money. It's crucial to manage positions wisely. You need to buy options, sell options, and hedge options at the right moment. Simply opening a position like this will definitely lose you money. I just showed this as an example of what can be done. Again, someone might say the stock will rise and bet on growth. My friend, if you want to make money, you need to set it up so that no matter which way the stock goes, you'll profit. And I'm specifically giving you an example of such a strategy. I'm not just making vague statements. For instance, I show how this can be achieved, that such strategies exist, and that they actually work. I advise all of you to learn about options and first and foremost mathematical analysis. If you can manage positions according to risk management and mathematical theories and probabilities, you'll definitely always make money and forget about your regular job. I guarantee you everything else. Moreover, for example, I show all of this. I manage several strategies including overtaking Tesla's stock and AMC's stock. So far, all of my strategies have outperformed stocks. I achieve this through options and effective position management. Also, I want to remind you that when I receive monetization, I will launch an entirely new portfolio from scratch. We will build a new portfolio from the ground up. I will show you which stocks I buy. I am already creating a special dashboard, a special Excel spreadsheet for this purpose. It will contain all the stocks, dividends, which strategies I buy, what exactly I open, and how it will be done. I will definitely leave this spreadsheet and make a review of it. Yes, you can download it absolutely for free. I will also show all the information about the portfolio completely for free. 
absolutely transparently. Anyone can look at my portfolio at any time to see what's happening. Everything will be as transparent as possible, absolutely realistic. And that's where I will show how to properly and effectively build a portfolio, which strategies I use, which stocks I buy, why I have a ratio of cash flows to stocks in such a way, how to properly manage positions during a recession, during a decrease in interest rates, during an increase in inflation. Everything will be explained as clearly as possible so as not to miss the start of this legendary experiment. Subscribe to the channel. The faster we get the indexation, the sooner we'll start. Farewell as everyone's super microcomputer. I believe the company itself isn't bad. It has good potential for business growth, but at the moment, it's just overbought. It's too expensive. It only triggers technical sales. In other words, the market maker closes their positions and that's it. I mentioned this stock right at the beginning. You can check out my video on this. It also reveals a lot. You can watch the entire playlist dedicated to these stocks. In each video, I explained why it's risky to buy this stock why it shouldn't be bought at the moment. And as we can see, that's exactly what happened. So protect your money, don't use leverage, and good luck to everyone.